but we're working away and figured I'd go live like the behind the scenes process of a Van Kooks project and I'll just show you today what we are working on I am wiring up a breaker box here and if anyone out there knows anything about these breaker boxes maybe you can tune in and we could check my wiring make sure everything looks good it's going to be all coming out of Ames power um, power inverter with auto transfer so I'm going to have a input to charge and an output and this will be part of the output here got a little breaker on there to uh, make sure I don't blow up my system so we are just working away of course we got the uh, Van Kooks camera set up super fancy GoPro 9 but I'm just getting after it tink tinkering away with this so if anyone knows anything about AC power I've got my insulated common bus bar here and I got all my commons hooked up to it so this is the common coming in from the load and then here are for my two outlets and then I got the ground hooked up. So I have ground into my ground. And then this is from the load. And then the black one comes down. And it goes down, down to the frame. And I got it grounded to the frame of the van. And then I got my hots. So I got my black coming in hot. And it goes to my first 20 amp breaker. And then I just daisy chained it over to my second 15 amp breaker and then I got it coming out so out to the power so to my outlets so I have two outs just two outlets coming down that goes into the wall I put a nice you know code worthy piece of flex tube here and it comes down and around and up and back into the wall so anyone out there that uh, knows anything about this stuff you can let me know if it looks good and I got a been pretty busy today doing this so I got two breakers these are uh, mini solar 15 and 20 amp breakers and that's all going to go in there and man was that a tight squeeze getting those back in there so I got that and I'm just working on power today. It's a big, big power day. And Danny's over here. We got the fridge in place. Can show you some process, some progress. So we got our cabinets looking good up top, top cabinets. Uh, these took quite a while because the transit is not, you can see up here is very curved. And that was very difficult to uh, match that curve. So, but we did it. The coops always do it. And then we got a back cabinet here. And we like this. We just threw in this bungee, bungee cord. So open cabinet so uh, our client can just shove in packing cubes in here. So there's two openings. And we got this wardrobe. It's kind of coming in place. And you can see I got my outlet out here. So there'll be a power outlet under the couch there and then we have a mess over here I've been wiring stuff all day and then we have our power system and it's looking pretty fancy so we got the Renogy DC to DC charger this thing's amazing it actually will charge your battery your starter battery while you just kind of sit so as you can see, it's blinking, it's charging our battery, it's charging our battery bank. We have 300 amp hours of uh, Battleboard and Lithium. And they're 100% charged. And these batteries are really nice. And we got a pretty fancy looking power station here. Uh, here is our DC fuse station, our fuse box. Here's our bus bars, fused for all, everything's fused. I got the uh, master on off switch for the panel as well as for the battery. And then it all goes into the power inverter. And even the power inverter is which I'm working on now. We have our fuse panel, which I've been working on the last four hours. 
and it has and I'm going to have this inline fuse here so this is going to go into my um, power inverter my pure sign 1200 watt power inverter and that is going to run all my outlets so there'll be two outlets in then and this is a midnight solar um, breaker box you never seen anything so small me neither probably never seen a breaker box so expensive but here's the cover for it i'm not the best at this uh video there we go and i got two breakers in place and i'm just wiring away and if anyone out there is a uh, electrician you can check my work real quick but van is coming along guys let's see i don't know how to work the uh chat how on earth always fancy thanks mike appreciate that and then here guys we have these uh windows these were a hundred and fifty dollar ebay windows believe it or not pretty awesome little windows we framed them out nice and we're pretty excited about those and you can see we did a nice little window frame job here we even have some nice oak inside there you know the van kooks love to use that premium hardwood nice to see you too mike i hope you had a great time in idaho this summer and from the back we got a ladder we just got this ladder on amazon it's actually really nice it's made for the ford transit we threw this bad boy on in no time and here's the ebay windows so these windows were like 150 50 bucks maybe even cheaper 120 they're vintage technology windows i got them on ebay like i said the seller was vintage technologies and i would never buy a nice window again from any other van company after seeing these look how good they look out there and then yeah it's like it's 150 bucks best deal on wheels then this opens and the screen even opens so if you guys are looking for van windows that are actually pretty awesome i check these out vintage technologies on ebay you know the kooks will show you how we put them in at some point and i'm hobbling around i'm in my crocs actually i'm having a gout problem today my once a year gout. So we're here, we're at Van Kook's custom shop. And there's the all-star. <laughs> What's up guys? What's up Kooks? So what are you doing? I'm tracing the cabinets onto our, our cabinet templates onto this plywood. So we can get moving on it. Let me switch this camera view. So I put this one this way so that the pretty side shows, and I put the other ones this way so the pretty side Why aren't you shows. cutting back here more? Because they have this, this, and this. Oh, so you have three. Three. And I have room for the, the table saw to get us a straight line if you want to do that. Yeah, so we'll be chopping some wood. So yeah, so we always start with cardboard. Cardboard templates. You can see some back here. Yeah. So we always start with the cardboard. Then when we have the cardboard perfect, we put it to this, uh, we call it RAM board. It's actually like cover sheet. You could get it at the hardwood store for free. Yeah, they usually put it in between the uh, plywood deliveries. So they, it's just like throwaway stuff. Yeah, it's free template wood. And then here we have our couch. We've been working on the couch the last few days. Danny, why don't you show the couch? It has a piano hinge. It's pretty big, a lot of storage. You can put a lot of blankets in there. I know she wants the blanket storage. And this part hasn't gone on yet, so, but that'll have a tip out so she can put laptops and then there's a little shelf for like chargers and stuff in there. Yeah, and then it will even have a outlet here at the bottom, a 120 amp outlet. 
So here you go, nice clean build. And just have a nice storage in there. And Danny made that couch. So if you're wondering who the, I made it. the pro woodworker is, we got Danny Dukes on the woodworking. And we can just give you a tour of the shop. So we have a table saw here. This is the uh, only way we get anything done fast and properly. And we have a very nice fence here. And we have the yeah, vacuum. The vacuum will suck all the sawdust up. And then we got our bandsaw. It's so, like a huge jigsaw. Yeah, massive jigsaw. This thing helps. So we cut our templates on the bandsaw. And then when we are finished with our templates, we take them to the band sander, is band which is here. Or sorry. I don't know. I don't it's know. a band sander. Okay. And this just rotates round and round, and we're able to get those templates perfect on the band sander. I just saw a text come through. Hello to Tim. Hi, Tim. <laughs> and then we have our Thanks, welding Tim. station. And then we got some chop saws here. It's a little bit messy, but it, the house is being remodeled. So everything's coming together and we got a planer. So we use the planer to make all the face frames and the trim. And then we have Danny's favorite section. So we have our metal band saw and we have our welding station back here. And this is where Danny made basically all the frames for the last fan that we made. And yeah, that's a tour of Van Kook's Customs. Yeah. We can show you the van. I'm hobbling around today. <laughs> you really are. So here we go. Like I said, we got that really nice uh, Amazon ladder. It was so easy to put on. Two Max Air fans. 600 watts of solar up top. And we got the nice upper cabinets in. And I'm just back here making a big old mess, wiring the stuff up today. So anyone out there that's a uh, wiring guru, I'm just gonna get back at it and I'm gonna let Danny do her thing. We got a fridge here too. She's got a Dometic. I've never seen this fridge. It's not that big, but. It's pretty standard Dometic. It's all right. She said it was a truck fridge, but it's a Dometic. So back to the wiring. Let's see. Okay, so I've been working on this. This is a uh, 120 amp uh, breaker box. So I have two, not a 120 amp breaker box, but this is my breaker box for my 120 amp uh, power inverter here. And I got all my grounds coming in. So grounds from the end, from the load. And then this is an insulated bus bar for my common. So everything's wired to the common. Then I got my hots wired here all together. So I'm hoping that everything's good. I've never actually wired one of these breaker boxes before. And then I even went extra measure and threw on my uh, flex tube here for uh, my, just to meet code. And then I'm gonna have the inline inline breaker here so everything's coming together this has been quite the project you can see I got the the in and the out so charge the uh, battery bank here with the Ames power inverter so that's pretty cool and the power system has come together in the last few days I'm pretty excited about it I've never really used bus bars before, and oh my goodness, guys, you got to use bus bars. They really clean up the job. I used to just put everything onto the battery terminals, but now with bus bars, you can make it look a lot better. I know there's wires in every direction, but man, do we have a lot of stuff wired up here. And if anyone doesn't know about this Renogy DC to DC charger, 
this thing's incredible. I couldn't recommend this enough. I'm going to definitely try to put this into our van whenever we have some time. But it's a pretty awesome little unit. Highly recommend it. Charges the car battery from the solar and then it charges the battery while you drive. We got these lithium batteries. We haven't been using any power. I mean, they're at 100% all the time. And then we got two Max Air fans. One here that's going to be the bed. And then one up front. It's a little bit staggered, but we have 600 watts of solar on the roof. And then I'm just sitting back here where our bed will be. This will kind of be a storage. There's a, actually a 30 gallon water tank under here. And yeah, I'm just working away. I got this midnight solar. I don't know if anyone's used these breaker boxes. Man, are they charging top dollar for these deals. But it's cool because if you see how small it is, I mean, here's just like a little tight bond glue next to it. It's a small compact breaker box. And that's not that common when you're working on these vans. Usually, you know, it's like a... You can see how small it is back here. I was looking at Home Depot and you see we don't have tons of room. There was really nothing else that was going to fit. So big shout out to Jamie. Um, Peace, love and van life. He actually pointed out some of these parts for me. And this has been making the build go much easier. Otherwise, I would have this massive breaker box. And I want to know what to do. So I just figured we'd give everyone an update on the van progress. Got some nice upper cabinets, really fought with the transit on those. And we got some nice back cabinets, some nice bungee here. It's like a guitar. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, but it's been a good day, good day so far. Maybe we will check back with more lives as we work. It's a little Van Kooks behind the scene. And I don't know where Danny went. She's probably snacking in the van. I guess I could show you the, uh, the newest van setup. I am hobbling around. I actually have gout in my right foot. So that's not cool. Don't get gout. The van is for a client. We are building the van for someone they met with us and we decided that we would go ahead and build a van for someone else we've never done that we're actually really enjoying it so danny is snacking like i guessed <laughs> what peanut butter almond butter fruit and chocolate almond butter fruit and chocolate Ooh. Yum. so we just Got our van on the side, guys. We didn't quit the van life. We are living it to the max. And you can see here, we got our kitchen. First, let's just take in the view. Beautiful view. So we got a kitchen out here and we still got our stove. And we made this little kitchen in about 10 minutes out of the uh, RV that we tore apart to make the tiny home, which is the next project. So here's our little ghetto kitchen straight off the uh, trim. Straight off the trim scene, it looks like, but no trimming going down here. And look at that kitchen view, guys. Like that is a, uh, it doesn't matter that I'm out here on a two by four plastic kitchen. I got the million dollar view and we're making the million dollar dishes and everything is all good. And Danny's in here snacking it up while I'm sweating in the van. And what are you working on? Homework too? I'm just checking on my group's progress. I don't do anything. Somehow I'm building a van and doing my master's program and people in my group just rely on me. Me and my friend call it the team of the Dannys. Because we're the only ones that do anything. Because I'm a multitasker and I snack and I work on homework and then I go back. Research methods is hard. Alright, Cooks. I am going to sign off. What's up, Chris W? 
Sorry for the shaky footage. I'm just with my phone. I figured, hey, I should go live and let everyone see what the Van Kooks Customs Workshop is all about. So thanks, guys. Just remember, we got videos coming every week of the current build. And please just share with your friends Van Kooks content because we're trying to reach all the kooks out there that want to build these vans. And we can do, I don't know, and we can help. We'd love to help. So thanks, guys. We appreciate everyone. That's always out there, all the kooks. Yeah, we love meeting you guys on the road. Yeah. When you say that we helped you with your electrical or this or that, it's just why we keep doing this. So keep telling your friends, kooks. Yeah, so smash that like button and share. I don't know about this video, but share your favorite kooks video. And we'll try to be live more often because that was easy and that was fun. And Cool we got to build a bed and do some other stuff. So we'll just show you live in the process how we work. Peace out. Peace out, Luke. <laughs> I don't know how to end it. Are you, are you alive, Luke?